All right, guys, welcome back. We got our left atrium intact. Now let's put on the left pulmonary artery. The left pulmonary artery is this. Okay, and it wraps around the kidney beam. This is why we did the left atrium first, because it's it's closest to the form than everything else, if you notice, stacks on top of it. The left pulmonary artery, the aortic arch, and the superior vena cava. See, there's a, there is a method to this madness, okay? So we're going left pulmonary artery, and you can't tell in this picture, but it does branch off. It's gonna split into three different areas. Here we go. Um, again, the left pulmonary artery is here, okay? This is where the branch splits off here is one, two, and three holes on top of the left atrium. Here's the left atrium and the kidney bean, and here's the left pulmonary artery, splitting off in one, two, three uh, holes. And let's look at it from another angle to really understand what it is. Uh, no, this, these are not the right angles. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Ha ha, I got clay in here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, this is the, uh, I was looking for that. Here's uh, the left pulmonary artery. See, look, the kidney bean, see that? That's the left atrium. Here's the left pulmonary artery, and then it, boom, splits off. It goes to the left, and it's a long branch, and then to the right, and with two short branches. All right, so let's do that. Now, you might not have a lucky piece of clay that's in a slab. So, if you're trying to make your slab, use the cardboard and then find what you find whatever you have, okay? I found this spray can of gloss clear wood finish, probably 30 years old. Uh, but what I like about it is it's a perfect cylinder and it's covered in paper, which is key because the paper is, is porous and the clay is not going to stick to the uh, paper. So if you don't have a spray can, maybe you've got a jar, maybe you've got a bottle, uh, a water bottle. If you wrap it in paper and then tape it with like a paper tape, like uh, masking tape, that will work. And you can roll yourself out a thin little slab, okay? Look at the thickness of the slab here. We're talking about an eighth of an inch, okay? And you wanna make sure that the clay is still plastic and can be bent, okay? Let's try this. Let's try to make some tubes. I'm gonna cut off the edges. Boom. And you know what? I'm gonna not, instead of making a perfect rectangle, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make one of the short sides larger than the other to make it trapezoid. Check it out. I got a trapezoid. Okay. And look, I've got these lines here, so I don't want to use that side. I want to use this side. I've got a little clay right here that I need to smooth out. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to roll this up gently. Gently bring this up. I'm rolling it into a tube. Remember to bend the slab just one time. Don't bend it and, don't, and then straighten it out and then bend it again because it's gonna get too weak. You need to bend it one time and one time only, okay? Maybe you make a tube and it's too big or it's too small. Don't flatten, flatten it out, just keep it. We might use it later for a different part. 
if this is too big, then I might use this for maybe my superior vena cava or my inferior vena cava. Did you see how I um, scored the edges? I'm not overlapping the seam, I'm bringing the seam together. Uh-huh, and I'm knitting those two edges together. I'm really pushing them in so I have that lateral compression. Of course, lateral compression is not enough I'm gonna put in the ocarina stick and then get some vertical compression as well. Now we are talking. Now we are cooking with butter. Okay, now, boom, I've got, I've got a tube. I'm gonna put a little water on it to smooth it out and compress the clay particles before I start to slowly bend it. Check this out. Now we're talking compound curve. It's turning, it's curving this way and it's curving this way. And that is gonna be attached. Like that. I'm gonna curve it this way. I'm gonna curve it three different directions. This is asking quite a bit of from the clay. If you are bending your tube and it starts to crack, slow down, compress those cracks together with your finger, and then carry on, okay? You've gotta compress it before you bend it. Otherwise, it's gonna crack, okay? So now, I've got this, this end of the um, left pulmonary artery and right if I stuck it on, I don't want to do that, right? I want it to come out of this left ventricle, or excuse me, right ventricle. Do you see how it's connected? It's connected very elegantly to this volume here, right? And it swoops out and it falls over the left atrium. So we've got to do it like that. And to do that, I'm going to take my little piece of dental floss and I'm going to put it on the underside of the bend and I'm going to cut out a portion. I'm going to cut out a wedge like this. See that? And I don't think that's deep enough, so I'm gonna use my nil. I'm gonna use my bamboo skewer. Trim off a little bit more. How's that? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so now I've got to make a decision. It's going this way, and I'm I, I've got to bend it one way or the other way. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut this off here. Ooh, using my donut to hold it. And I'm going to cut this off. And when we return, we'll do uh, the second part where it, it makes a T. Okay, haha, <laughs> fell down. Okay, so thanks for watching. That's the beginnings of the left pulmonary artery. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's, um, I I'll score this on. Well, well you come, come on back to the next step where we do the, the T. Okay, thanks for watching.